Welcome to this absolutely brand new training on the new evergreen model. I'm going to be walking you through our seven to seven formula, which is a four phase system to evergreen sales. Now, the reason why this is so important and why I am so passionate about talking about weekly sales, because there's more than then there's more that matters than just weekly sales. So in this training, I'm going to be covering three things, weekly sales, retention, and client satisfaction, because truly the sales are great. And obviously I want to make as much money. I want to hit my goals, but if my clients aren't renewing and having results, then truly that's, I'm not in it for just the money. And chances are you're not in it for just the money too, which is why we're going to be talking about sales retention and client satisfaction. Now, before I go on, I decided to record this free training because this is a training I have done for other people's groups. I've presented this training before and it is really filled with a lot of information. And I decided to make this a free training. When I was going over, if you don't know me, I work I work with my husband, Dan. He's my partner, and he's going to make an appearance in this training too. I told him that I wanted to do this as our, our new free training, and he was like, I think there's a lot of information in here. And I was like, I know, but I think people really need to hear this. They need to hear this because the, the way that we have done Evergreen in the past, the way that you may be doing Evergreen right now, it's old, it's outdated, and it's not working anymore. There's a lot of things that people are still doing that is not working anymore. And this training is going to really show you why and show you how to increase your weekly sales, your retention, and your client satisfaction. Because truly, it's a trifecta and all three are equally important. So this is, we're going to be talking about evergreen sales. We're going to be talking about sales every week. And most importantly, we're going to be talking about how to make this work in a really um, peaceful, <laughs> peaceful and calm way. We're going to be talking about how to do this, how to run your business with less stress, keep things simple, and actually get better client results. So I want you to take out a piece of paper because you're going to be doing some writing here. And I want you to write down, how are you making money right now? And if it's more than one way, I want you to write, I want you to write down all the ways you're making money. Also want you to write down, what are you selling? So are these different programs and how, how are you selling them? So I want you to make a big list right now. And then I want you to rate each one. How does selling each program feel to you? Does it feel like green? I got this. The sales are coming in. Every time I do a launch or every time I turn on my evergreen funnel, the sales comes in. It feels really good. The leads come in. The sales come in is, would be green. Yellow would be like, sometimes the sales are coming in. Sometimes they're not. And red would be like, the sales are not coming in. And this does not feel good because we're in business, right? We're CEOs. So I'm not saying that every day is going to be a green. And I'm not saying every day we're going to be feeling good and, and on a high. Of course, you have ups and downs. Of course, there's a little bit of a roller coaster. But overall, on the grand scheme of thing, over an entire month, over the entire quarter, over the entire year, we're, we're mostly in a green. Now, I want you to write down what is your wildest goal? Money per month wildest goal. Like you get excited anticipating this, like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get there. And after you wrote that down, I'm going to show you the one thing that if you focus on this, it will make this wildest revenue number absolutely possible for you. And you are going to see it. You're going to feel it. You're going to understand if I do this, if I put into practice what I am, what I am learning in here, it, I, I know it's going to be possible for me. So scale of one to 10, and I would love it if you would DM me, Nicole Culver on Instagram and tell me the answer to this. How excited would you be on a scale of one to 10 if you could walk away knowing one thing that you could do that makes this number possible for you, that makes your monthly revenue number possible for you? And whenever I do this training... I know we're not live together, but whenever I do this training, people are like 100, 
15, 20, like the numbers are off the charts because a lot of us maybe in the past have been running businesses that are really stressful, that are overcomplicated, that maybe used to work and don't work anymore. And that's okay, but I want to show you how to flip it. So let's, let's have a real, real conversation for a sec. And I'm always, I'm always going to give it to you straight right now. And, and this is, I say right now at the time I'm recording this, but the truth is all the time, there's always going to be a reason why your people are busy. There is a record number of people. And I'm hearing this over and over again from prospects that are coming to us who are saying, my audience is saying, I, I want this. This is something I need, but now is not the right time. I, I, if you are hearing this a lot right now, I know that it is frustrating, but I'm telling you, there is an answer to this. People are busy. Show up rates are declining right now. Launches aren't working as well as they used to in the past. And a lot of people start to feel that, um, that like stressed out, frantic roller coaster of emotions. I'm not about any of that. I'm not like, I want to just stop this here because your business does not have to feel frantic. It not, it does not have to feel stressed. It does not have to feel overcomplicated and it does not have to feel like you have this one shot to make everything work because truly I can show you, we can show you my team, our formula can show you how to get sales every week and not be so dang stressed out all of the time. We show you how to get your sales up, your client happiness, your client's happiness up because they're getting better results, which also increase your renewal. So sales up, clients results up, renewals up. And this to me, like these three down here are my three girls. They're the most important thing. So I don't want them to come home from school every day or spend the summer with a frantic mom. So we had to figure out how we can do this in a really aligned way that works, that is a data-driven process, a data-driven business that gets sales every week, that gets results for our clients and gets those renewals up. So what, what I don't want for you is, is for sales to slow down or your client satisfaction to slow down. But here's some reality right now. And you might feel like it's a little bleak and that's okay because I want to help you shift to show you what's possible. Launches are plateauing or having less results than they did. They're either plateauing or declining right now. We have less people showing up live. We have leads not resulting in buyers. So in the past, more leads used to lead to more buyers. That is not the case anymore. We also have CEOs who are launching feel like I only have one chance to make the money. I only have one chance to get the people in. I only have one chance to do this right. And a lot of CEOs who are in overwhelm because they're overcomplicating things. But here's our reality. There's more people ready to buy than ever before. Truly, there's more buyers out there. By the way, everyone on your email list is a buyer. And you may be like, what are you talking about? That's not true. Everyone on your email list is a buyer. They might not be buying from you yet, but they're buyers. They're buying from Amazon. They're buying from other online businesses. They're buying from other storefronts. They're going shopping. They're buying groceries. They're buyers. There are buyers on your list. Price doesn't matter right now, but the value does. And the value is in the eye of the buyer. There are buyers in your audience who are sitting there and they are ready to buy. And they're ready to buy fast if you know how to set up your funnels for today's climate, for today's environment. Our goal, first of all, business is just like a game. So our goal is always to play this game and see how quickly we can get our leads who come in from our ads to buy the right people, how fast we can get people to go from lead to sale 
on a high ticket program. We're always playing that game to see what we can do to bring people through the sales process as fast as possible. Now, all of this is from over 12 years of working on our own funnels, of having multiple businesses, of working with clients across so many different niches. And our goal is always to get a 10 times return on ad spend. So I want you to think about this for a second. If you knew what would be possible, I'll just ask you this like this, what would be possible for you? If you put in a dollar and you got 10 back, every dollar you spent on ads, you got 10 back. What would become possible for you? What could you do with that money? Who else could you impact? Who else could you help? What would be possible? Who else could you hire? What else could you invest in? And most importantly, you were confident knowing that you had a strategy and a process that would do that for you. What would be possible for you? And the best part is you sell when you want, you sell when you want to sell, your clients are happy because they're getting results. You don't have to sacrifice your family. I am not, I am a mom first through and through. I am not sacrificing my family. I am not working 80 hours a week. I am not working on the weekends. I don't even open a computer on the weekends. What would be possible for you? What would be possible for you if your kids came home from school and you were like, calm, because things were working in your business? That doesn't mean you don't have problems. Let's not get crazy here. Every business has problems, but it means that things were working and you're making sales and your clients are happy and your clients are renewing. So why should you listen to us? So this was at one of our live events. This is me and my husband, Dan. You can see the rest of our team on here, um, but they're there. They're working behind the scenes. Our advisors are also supporting our clients. We've been doing this a very long time. I've been doing this since 2011. I am like a dinosaur in the online space. Weekly, we get a five minimum, minimum, five is like the absolute minimum to 10 times return on ad spend every week. We make sales every single week. Our clients are getting results. We care about every single one of our clients. While most programs have a less than stellar, I'll say completion rate, we are reviewing our clients' data and results every single week. Every single week, our entire team sits down and looks at what our clients are doing. And that's why our clients are getting unreasonable results. We work 15 to 20 hours a week when our kids are in school and we take mostly off for the summer. And truthfully, our business is about the lifestyle. We work and when we're working, we are working. <laughs> It's not always easy, but it's simple because these three are truly what matters. And that's why we're doing this. And I, as the CEO of our business, am doing this to help you have financial freedom, to help you grow a wildly profitable business. So our mission statement at Elevated is to support founders in growing wildly profitable businesses with the right strategy tools and mindset. Because I know you who are sitting here probably is a cycle breaker for yourself, for your family, for your community, and good people do good. When our lives are changed, we can change lives. And that's why I'm so passionate about sharing this with you because the new evergreen sales model, the seven to seven, it can be used to sell weekly or accelerate your launches because it's about predictable, growing, consistent revenue. So all three of these things matter. They all matter. They all matter. When you have all three, you can work less. When your sales are up, your retention's up, your client satisfaction is up and they all matter and they all work together. So these are the four phases. And I'm going to walk you through as much as I possibly can. I'm going to walk you through I'm, I was going to say the most important parts, but the truth is they're all, they're all really important. And in phase one, no matter where you are, we start with exactly where you are to find the money. Every, every single one of our clients has money sitting, basically like sitting in front of them that they are not taking. So we in, in cash conversions, 
we go and find the money. We go get the money that's sitting there. We go find the money. You have money in your current audience right now that is literally sitting there. And that's why our clients get sales within seven days of sign up because there's money sitting in front of you that you're not, that you, that you just are not utilizing. Every single one of our clients has this. So to make more sales, there's one thing that most people who are not working with us are, are not doing. And when you do this, when you do this one thing, you will immediately see a shift. And this also plays into finding the sales that are sitting in front of you, waiting, the clients who are the prospects who are sitting, waiting for you to help them. Now, I want to just tell you that I want you to listen to this and be really open to what we are going to share here because our clients who immediately, immediately implement this see a huge shift, not only in them and how they're selling, but in the way that their message is received and the way that people are receiving them. And I love this. I love this quote. Um, I love this testimonial because so many of us struggle with our messaging, right? And if you know, if you feel like you need to fine tune your messaging, then this is going to be a really big deal for you. So I want to ask you this question based on the stoplight. How confident are you that there are buyers in your audience sitting there right now? Are you like, Green, yes, heck yes, I know they are there. I am so ready. I just need to find the right messaging to get in front of them. Are you yellow? Like, I think they're there, but I, I'm not 100% or red. I don't think that they are there. For most people who are sitting here watching this, you are, there are buyers sitting in your audience right now. You just need to tweak your messaging. And I wanna pause for a second and just say, if you know you want help with this, if you want to really discover what part of your messaging is off so you can get more of those ideal prospects coming to you, so you can get more of those right leads and fill out the application that is around this video and we will set up a time so we can help you figure this out. So today we are going to show you our process to get in front of buyers right now with a few small tweaks. So how excited are you about this? Because truly it is just a few small tweaks in your messaging that you probably don't even realize is off. So let's get into the rich niche training. If you, if you have heard, I'm too busy. If you've heard I can't afford this. If you have heard, oh, I need this, but now is not the right time. If you've heard these objections, it's because you're most likely not targeting your rich niche. Your rich niche audience, they are ready to buy right now. And what happens is in our launches or in our evergreen funnels, most of the time we're talking to the people that we need to convince. And that's why this tweak is so incredibly, incredibly important. All right, so I brought Dan in just for this rich niche part because this is his whole wheelhouse. All right, I'm, I'm diving in. So this circle represents your audience. And so what we need to recognize when we're thinking about our rich niche is we have to accept that our best people have some ingredients, some qualities already before they start working with us. Um, and so what I want to do is divide this audience based on those attributes that they already have. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'll just go with black. I'm going to divide it this way. And what I want to talk about here is really their desire. Some of the, your audience is actually going to have no desire for change. And the other is going to have some desire or a lot. And this is really their motivation is what are they motivated to do? Are they motivated to take action? Are they motivated to make changes? This is incredibly important. And I think most people underestimate it. Now, the sec the flip side of this is if they're motivated to take action or not, what happens when they take action? So this other line, I'm gonna divide by action. 
And because sometimes when people take action, they actually struggle. So even though they're moving, they're not moving very quickly, whether they don't have the right recipe, they're not doing it consistently for whatever reason they're struggling and while others are thriving, they take action and they get amazing results. So now we have an idea that our audience is not just a clump of people. It's actually four different quadrants. And so I wanted to walk through the different segments of these audience. And so down here, this is the, the bottom right quadrant. These are people who are doing well, but they have no desire to change. And these people, when you speak to them, the, the best example I can give is that with our Facebook ads agency, when I would do sales calls for my our Facebook ads agency, I would get really excited. I'd be like, oh my gosh, your business is doing amazing. So if we add Facebook ads to it, we can add leads, we can add sales, we can do all this stuff. And the people who were in this place who are thriving with no desire to change would look at me and they could not care any less. They were careless. They did not want to make a change. So even though their business was doing well and they could be doing better, they did not want to change. So while those sales calls were, you know, kind of interesting, they didn't amount to anything, but there's not honestly that many people who will talk back to you if they're doing well and they have no desire to change. Where we get into trouble with this is when we flip it and we talk and when we start talking to these people on the left over here. These are the people who are struggling and also have no desire to change. And the reason why this is such a trouble spot is because I, we estimate about 80% of the marketing, especially in online marketing, 80% of the marketing is speaking to this quadrant. When you speak to this quadrant who are struggling with no desire to change, you are not going to get any sales. They are not going to buy from you. And what happens is the online marketing industry tells you, you need to get better at marketing. You need to be some marketing genius so that you can convince these people who have no desire to change. You have to convince them to have a desire to change. You have to convince them to take action. And when this happens, you push them into this top left quadrant. And these people now, they're still struggling, but because you're such a marketing genius now, you've convinced them to have a desire to change. However, the problem, oops, the problem is that you have convinced them. And when you convince someone to buy from you, you then have to convince them to take action inside your program. So you've convinced them to invest in themselves, whether it's for fitness, business, relationships, wealth, whatever the reason is. Now you have to convince them to take action. What most people are not doing in their program is convincing people to take action. And so their clients do not get the results they've expected. So if my promise is to lose 15 pounds in three weeks, I've convinced you to join. You don't take the necessary action to lose the 15 pounds, but I feel bad. I say, oh my gosh, something's wrong with my program where the person did not lose 15 pounds. This has a number of ramifications. One of them is you sell with less confidence. You say, oh my gosh, something is wrong with my program. How am I going to go out there and sell it? The other problem with this is if people aren't getting the results you've promised them, you're not getting renewals and you're not getting referrals. This is an uphill battle. So now you're constantly having to go out and find new buyers to come in to try to get your cash flow up, but you're selling with less confidence. And this is just a really difficult spot to be in. Anything to add? Okay. Now, what I really want to push you to focus on is just shifting your attention to this top right, right quadrant. This is the quadrant of those who are actually doing well and want to do better. Now, I said shift your focus. This does not mean you have to be 100%, but the goal is to talk more to these people. Spend less time in the, the bottom left or the bottom right or even the top left and speak to this quadrant. This is your rich niche. These are the people who are actively looking for a solution to their problem. They will come in and they will buy quickly and they will take action quickly. When people take fast action with your stuff, you are an expert. You can get them the results if they do the work. And so those people come in, they do the work, they get the results. That gives you more confidence to go out and sell more and get more people in your community. It also gets you more renewals and more referrals. It also creates just an amazing community of buyers and action takers. 
factors. And so when you do this week over week, month over not month, you're going to create this ball of momentum in both the results with your clients, but also in your sales system. And this is really where we scale with profit. And this is what we were talking about, what I was talking about before Dan came in, when you target your rich niche, that's when you also start to notice, oh my gosh, I have the right people in here. They're taking action. They're getting better results and they're renewing over and over again. So you see, like Dan said, with that ball of momentum, it continues to increase when you keep on targeting that rich niche. So do you want, can you give them something to like go and write down? Yeah. So what most people ask now is, okay, that's great. I need to target my rich niche, but how? So what we focus on is two things. You have to focus on what your rich niche has and what your rich niche wants. So your homework is to sit down and think about one of your clients, past, present, future, someone who you want to work with, who have, or you have worked with, who is your perfect client, who you want a hundred of. What did that person have before they started working with you? And what does that person want? Should I give an example? Yeah. Okay. So in our business, when we did this, we sat down and we looked at our best clients and, and keep in mind, we looked at what this client was doing before they joined our program. And what we figured out is this person had results. They were getting their people results. The other thing they had is they had sales. So they were going out and getting sales and getting results. And the other thing they had was they had, um, they had a process. They knew how to take their clients through a step-by-step -step to get a client a result. And so what this really amounted to were our people were experts. And so that was our first aha. It's like, okay, we have to stop talking to everyone. We have to start talking to experts. Now the wants over here, this is really what we're going to talk about. And what we figured out with our specific expert, what they wanted was they wanted more, more conversation. They wanted more engagement with their audience. So I'm just going to put audience engagement. They also wanted more consistent sales and they wanted to scale their offer. They wanted to start removing themselves from their selling. They wanted to actually sell something that had more, gave them more time back. So less of them and, and still getting their results. And so when we looked at it, the first thing we had to look at was, okay, can we do this? Can we deliver these wants? And they also wanted a less stressful business overall, yeah. simpler, less complicated. So I'm going to put less stress. So when the first thing we had to look at is, okay, can we do this inside our program? Can we get these results? The audience engagement, yes. With our cash conversations, with our rich niche, with our lead system, we can definitely get you more audience engagement. The consistent sales, this is something we lived on and we've been talking about already. Evergreen sales, selling all the time. This is why we really talk about this so much is because this is what our people want. And the third thing, scaling their offer with less stress. That's why we're so focused on not only making more money, but having you work less. And that's why we talk about it. That's why it's called the seven to seven is because we want to get you to seven figures in seven hours a week. And so, yes, the first thing is, can we do it? Yes. Now, the second piece of this is we just had to go back and create content around this and specifically call out, hey, do you want more audience engagement? Not grow your audience, audience engagement. Do you want more consistent sales? Do you want more time back? Do you want to scale your offer? These are the pieces. These are the content topics that we talked about to get our audience engaged and talking back to really focus on our rich niche. So this is, this is really your homework is to just sit with this, figure out who your perfect person is, and then just make this list. It's just has to be three. If you come up with more ideas, that might be a little bit even overwhelming. I would really just focus on three. What are three things that they have and three things that they want? And again, if you want help with this, fill out the application and we will walk you through it. This training is, first of all, everything we do in our business is again, is like against the grain. So this is not your typical training where you're going to see me make a big pitch at the end. And normally in our freebies, we would stop, we would stop here because this is plenty of information for you to go and run with. And we're all about um, taking fast action. But this is a training I started uh, for the first time I ever did for Brandon Lucero's NGM program. and 
it was so well received that I was like, I just, I just want to keep going with this. And I want to give you even more value, but I will say if you know that you would like to move to this new evergreen sales model where you're making sales every week, where your client retention is up, where your client results are better, then fill out the application. We will see if you are a right fit because we have a lot of really amazing things coming up and we support you fully. We will walk you through the entire process. So fill out the application if you think you might be a good fit and if you're interested in this. Okay, so where do we go from here? Target the rich niche, build a fast cash funnel. If you wanna know what a fast cash funnel is, fill out the application and we will walk you through it. Fill out a, build a fast cash funnel to get them to buy now and get them results with scaled service, which is our phase four. Our phase four. So the reason why I don't, Oh, I don't ever hear people talk about this. And this is the reason why truly I am where I am, where our business is, where we are, because we may not have always been the best at marketing, but we have always come from the place of service. It is not just about sales. I will not go for making more money and sacrifice my clients ever. When you scale up your service in the right way, your clients will stay and retention will actually go up and you actually don't have to work so hard to hit your goals. It becomes easier to hit your goals when you have your service scaled in the right way. Because again, your client results will actually get better over time. And that's really important. So we always, we always were really good at the service piece not always so good at the marketing piece. And this is really important. So one of the ways you scale your service is getting really clear on your tiny promise timeline. So how confident are you on the results that you, that you deliver? Green would be like, yes, every single client in my program who comes into my program gets a result. And if I had 200 more clients, they all would get a result. Yellow is some would, some get a result, some would get a result, some wouldn't. And red would be like, I really got to work on my results. I really got to work on my retention. So just rate yourself. How confident are you on the results that you deliver on a timeline? So for example, when I say our clients get their first sale within seven to 14 days, I'm confident there. I'm confident because out of the clients who fill out our weekly data tracker, they have this result and I can speak to it confidently. Yeah, so green would be like, yes, I'm confident that my clients get a result on a timeline. Yellow would be like, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. And red would be like, this is my biggest area of opportunity. So I'm gonna be a little sassy, which I love. I love being a little sassy. If you're saying that my people all want different results, my people all want different things, if you're saying that you may not be speaking to your rich niche, because when you want to scale your program, you really want to be able to speak to the specific results that your rich niche wants. Now, the truth is, ultimately, ideally, if you're watching this training, you want to make more money and you want to help more people. And you want to do that without sacrificing your family, without sacrificing your life, without working 80 hours a week. Those are the results, right? Now, the tiny promise timeline is counterintuitive because most people want to promise the world. And I get that. But the truth is your people have a problem right now. They have like, we call it a bleeding problem and they wanna fix it. And they want to see that they are making progress. So a lot of people, when they come to me, they're like, well, I can't, I can't promise these huge results in six months. I can't promise these huge results in four weeks. No one is asking you to. What I'm asking you to do is come up with a timeline for tiny results, tiny, tiny results. So literally like, what our first, our first promise is that your audience is going to be talking back to you within 24 hours. If, if you do the work, 24 hours, just, you're going to get people talking back to you. 
that's the promise. It's tiny. You could say within 24, within 24 hours, you're going to notice that you feel more hydrated. That's a tiny promise. It's tiny. Most people want to make these big promises, but your people just want to see that they're making progress. And when you have your tiny promise timeline set up, you have more confidence. Your people have more confidence. It shows your expertise. It demonstrates your authority and it gives your people permission to see themselves in the results when you have that tiny promise. What would it do for you too to be able to speak like fully, fully confident about your program? And if you're sitting here saying like, well, I can't make promises. I'm going to, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you what to do because no one, I do not ever want people to say things that they can't actually deliver on. Right. But we want to be able to give your people permission to see themselves in the results, because honestly, a lot of your people are going to trust you. They're not going to trust themselves. So we want to show them that no, you can, because this is what I'm going to walk you through. So why the tiny promise timeline? It shows them the step-by-step -step and the promised results. It gives you a confidence increase. It also shows you how to onboard clients to get more results. Our entire onboard is around our tiny promise timeline. So our clients come in and they say, this was the right decision. They care about me. I am supported. I know exactly what to do. And this is how we get everyone on the bus moving forward. Everyone. I don't want to leave anyone behind. The bus, some people's bus is going to move at their own pace, but everyone's bus is moving forward. And this is how you do that. It also helps clients have a safe and successful experience, which is really important to me. I, I have had a lot of conversations with people who have made um, investments before where they haven't felt like it was a safe experience. So I want everyone to know as soon as they come on board with us, you are supported, you are seen, and we're going to help you. It's really important. And the Tiny Promise Timeline just lays out what people are going to experience. Most people are just giving a fire hose of information, and we really want it to be a step-by-step -step experience. So I'm going to start to walk you through this. This is preliminary. And again, in the seven to seven, we go into this in big detail, big detail. So this I want you to do imperfectly. I want you to think about what is the big result your people want. So just write this down. What is your big result your people want? What do they really want? What do they want? What do they ask for? What are they texting their friends about? What are they waking up in the middle of the night thinking about? What are the four mini steps to get there? So if you're, if the big result is A to Z, what is the first micro thing? Now, again, with our program with the 7-7, I want to get everyone on track to hit their goals, right? Well, most people who come to us, they want to have a seven or multi-seven figure business. I'll be honest with you, depending on where we have people who come in at the seven figure level and that like getting to one and a half, getting to two is less of a jump than getting to like $10,000 a month to getting to a hundred thousand. That might take a few years to get from 10 to a hundred. Maybe not. Maybe some people are going faster. But what are the four mini steps? The first step is getting your audience to talk back to you. The second step is finding the money in your audience right now. The third step is getting those first sales coming in. The fourth step is getting you booked out within the first 28 days. So what are the first four mini, mini micro steps to get your people? So they are saying, oh my gosh, I'm moving forward. Oh my gosh, I'm building trust with myself. And I want you to start to map that out. If this is your big result, what are the four mini steps? And this is how you start to build it out. The timeline, the tiny result, how you help them and the system. Because your promise, you cannot guarantee results. Most people, you can't guarantee results because you, you can't control if they're gonna do the work or not. But your promise is to the system. 
So for us, we say we have a weekly data tracker. So our promises are based on the results of our clients who fill out the weekly data tracker. And inside the 77, we show you how to make your own data tracker so you can start to collect this information. So work through this, do this imperfectly, figure out what it, your promises to the system. What is the system to get them to that result? This doesn't mean you need to change everything right now. How can you yourself take one small micro step? Just by you starting to think about this and starting to put this into motion, you are moving into the right step. You are stepping into that elevated CEO. So this is the new Evergreen sales model, the seven to seven formula. We walk you through all four of these phases inside our program. Our tiny promise timeline is that your audience is gonna start to talk back within 24 hours, first sale within seven days. And if you are ready for this, if you are ready to make things less stressful, if you're ready to bring in those weekly sales, if you're ready to target the right lead so you're 100% sure the leads who are coming in are the right fits for your program, fill out the application and we will see if you are a right fit for the program because it's not for everyone and there is a certain level of expertise that we let in inside our program because we know this works the best for experts. So I want you to think about this. We went over, I went over a lot today. What would become possible for you? If you were able to set this up, what would become possible for you if you were able to bring in sales every single week in a calm environment? I would love to hear from you, your favorite things. Remember the application is around this video. I would love to hear your takeaway, Nicole Culver on Instagram. And thanks for being here. Go take one simple step from this training. That's what I that's what I'm asking for you is that you go put something into action and join us for a live training, listen to the shift show, fill out the application and I can't wait to get to know you better.